Hallelujah. Greetings, precious people of God. My name is Apostle Martin Mutweri, and today I'm glad to meet you at this platform of faith. And the Lord has put a word in my spirit, and I want to share the word with you, and you are going to be blessed. Today, my topic I want to speak about the promises of God concerning spiritual growth. People of God, I want to let you know that it is in the interest of God for you to grow from one level to another in the things of God. The more you become mature in the things of God, the more the Lord is able to trust you with His blessings, with His power, with His anointing. People of God, the Bible says that unless an ear reaches the age of maturity, cannot receive the inheritance. So it's upon you as a Christian believer that you mature in the things of the kingdom of God. There are some untapped potential and neutralized anointings that have not yet been neutralized just because people were not mature enough in the things of the spirit to be entrusted as the custodians of these blessings people of god we have god's rainbow of promises and these benefits sometimes are unused if you read the bible in the book of second kings chapter number seven we are verse number three we have the story of the four lepers. One day, however, the lepers said to themselves, Why sit here until we die? They rose up and went to the camp of the enemy, fighting the enemy and fled and left behind plentiful food and possessions. Why sit in your same spiritual run until you die? Move on into the, deep, into the deeper things of God the marvelous things that are contained in the promises of God. People of God, verse number 3 of 2 Kings chapter number 7 says, And there were four lepers, men at the entering of the gate, and they said to one another, Why sit here till we die? They looked at their situation. Remember back in those days, the lepers were set aside outside the camp, because of the condition of their disease, the condition of their situation. They were not allowed to interact or mingle with others because of the rate of infectious rate of that disease. It was infectious. So even the food they were fed outside the city, sometimes they had even to wear a bell that used to signify that they are passing nearby so that the rest of people could sit aside for them to pass. They said that, Oh, if we continue sitting here, we are going to die. If we say we will enter into the city, then the famine is in the city. We shall die there. And if we sit still there, we shall also die. Now, therefore, come, let us go into the host of the Syrians. If they save us, we shall live. If they kill us, we shall but die. And they rose up in the twilight to go into the camp of the Syrian. When they were come to the uttermost part of the camp of the Syrian, behold, there was no man there. For the Lord had made the host of the Syrian to hear a noise of chariots. The Lord amplified their steps. They were four men, but the Lord amplified their steps. Such kind that the, the commander of the Syrian army Add as if it was our whole army of the Israelites coming to attack them. People of God, in order for you to utilize the blessings of God that come through spiritual growth, you must come out of your comfort zone. For you to grow spiritually, come out of your comfort zone. The four of us had to come out of their comfort zone. They had to make a decision. Hallelujah. The Lord wants you to mature. And some maturity levels can only be achieved through 
coming out of comfort zone i'm speaking to you wherever you are watching this broadcast come out of your comfort zone the lord wants you to grow if you read the bible in the book of second peter chapter number one verse number four whereby we are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by this you might be partakers of the divine nature partakers of the divine nature when you are mature in the things of the spirit you partake the divine nature that is the supernatural God will begin to reveal the supernatural part of him into you. Hallelujah. Are you ready for the supernatural? Are you ready for the mighty move of good of God in your generation? Are you ready for the mighty move of God to clear your situation, to challenge your situation? Hallelujah. But all these are possible when you are partaker of his divine nature after maturity is complete john chapter number 15 verse number four abide in me and i'll abide in you as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in the vine no more can you except abide in me i am the vine you are the branches he that abideth in me and i am in him the same bringeth forth much fruit for without me you can do nothing if you want to mature in the things of the spirit you need to train your body your spirit and your soul to abide in christ or to have a total dependence on jesus viewer total dependence of jesus requires both in season and out of season when things are favorable unto you and when things are not favorable unto you you need to have a total dependence on god total dependence on god people of god challenges and situations they provoke us to have total dependence on god challenges actually they are meant to raise our dependence on God to train us to depend on God for more when situation and challenges occur to you they are meant to build you so that you can mature so that you can be a empowered Christian that is full of total dependency on God abide in Christ if you abide in me and my ones abide in you ask whatever you want from the father and you are going to receive galatians chapter number five verse number 22 but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace wrong suffering gentleness goodness faithfulness and self-control if you want to grow spiritually you want to mature spiritually people of god you must train yourself to abide or to walk in the fruits of the holy spirit the fruit of the holy spirit they build the character of a person build your character build your attitude build your behavior through abiding in christ and walking and practicing the fruits of the holy spirit and if you lack any of the fruit of the holy spirit for example love joy peace patient kindness self-control you need to ask it from the father in the name of jesus and it shall be given unto you majority of christians they have remained without complete maturity or without complete spiritual growth because they lacked self-control they lacked humility they lacked faith faithfulness they were not faithful they had no sufficient love for god and humanity people of god i pray for you may the nine fruits of the holy spirit find a place to stay in your heart in the name of jesus first peter chapter number two 
verse number two as newborn babies desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby we have the spiritual milk which is the word of god and after you have taken the spiritual milk now desire for solid food that is accompanied by faith and character that is complete in the things of God. Prepares chapter number 3 verse number 12. Now, not as though I had already attained either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Here when the man of God was speaking to the church in Philippines, he said that I have not all, uh, 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 attained whatever requires to be attained to be perfect. I'm still striving. I'm still on the journey. I'm still desiring for more. If you want to increase your spiritual growth, desire for more. More of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit of God, I need more of you. Jesus Christ, I need more of you. More of your power. More of your presence. Colossians chapter number 2 verse number 9. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of God and bodily. And you are complete in him. We are able to complete in our spiritual journey. When you are connected to Jesus Christ. If you read the Bible in the book of First John chapter number 2 verse number 5. But whatever keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. First John chapter number 2 verse number 5. Keep the word of God. Hide it in your spirit. The Bible says in the book of Psalms that the word of God is ramp unto our feet. It is able to bring right unto your feet, unto your road of destiny. And you are able to know what the do's and don'ts in life. Psalms chapter number 107 verse number 9. For he satisfied the wronging soul, and filled the angry soul with goodness. Anger. The Bible says in the book of Matthew, in the Beatitudes, the Sermon of the Mountain. Blessed are they that anger for the things of God, for they shall be filled. Have that anger, thirst for the word of God. Purpose to attend fellowship. Read the Bible. Have a moment of prayer. Meditate upon the word of God. Even in your bed, reflect about the great nature of God, the wonderful nature of God, the powerful nature of God. Reflect. Think about it. In the name of Jesus. David said that even in my nights, I think about you. I listen about you. I anger for you. Romans chapter number 12, verse number 2. And be not comforted to this world, but be, be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Brethren, remember, you are not supposed to be conformed by the situation of the world, but you are supposed to be transformed by the renewal of your mind in the name of Jesus Christ. Your mind needs to be renewed. If you want to grow in the things of the Spirit, allow your mind to grow. Allow your mind to grow in the things of God. Allow your mind to grow in the things of the Spirit. Graduate from being a one-minute prayer person to a ten-minute prayer person to a thirty-minute prayer person to one hour at least in within a week have at least one hour of prayer remember jesus said when he took 
Peter, John, and James to the mountain of prayer. And Jesus was interceding and praying. When he turned back, he found that the disciples were totally asleep. He said unto them, Can't you even watch with me for one hour in prayer? That is Jesus. Viewer, have at least one hour of prayer. Maybe you have a busy week, but when you go to church on a Sunday service, at least have a one hour moment of prayer, calling upon God, repenting your sins, trying to know the mind of God through prayer, and you grow more in the things of God. People of God, also if you want to grow more in the things of God, have a godly mentor that is like a spiritual father or a spiritual mother. It's called a godly mentor. Somebody that has walked with God and is ready to mentor you or you are looking upon that person so that you can learn Walking with God and growing spiritually is a journey. There are some mistakes that people make and it hinders them in spiritual growth. And there are also some things that people do and they are able to graduate from one level to another. People of God run from the mistakes and also strength of others in their walk with God. Read the Bible you'll be able to know the fall of man and the strength of man. We have various servants of God in the Bible. Run by their example, by their character, how they walked before God, where they did a mistake. Know that is a sin to avoid. Look for sins to confess, promises to claim, examples to follow, commands to obey, knowledge to acquire as you are looking through your godly mentor and leading the scripture. Sometimes even you can pick a person in the Bible and study the life of that person. Study the life of Elijah, prophet Elijah. Understand how he conducted himself before God. His strength and also his weakness. Then you will be able to know this God God was this. God is not pleased with this. Look upon the life of David. You'll be able to understand what God was happy about in the life of David and what God was not happy about in the life of David. Then you'll be able to advance and grow more each and every day. Matthew chapter number 13 verse number 23. But he that received the seed into the ground he see that he has the word and understandeth it, which also bear fruit and bring forth some hundred food, some sixty, some thirty. When Jesus was giving about the parable of the sower, he talked about a seed that fell on the road and was eaten by the bands of the air, the seed that fell on thorns and it grew, but it was choked. The seed that fell on the rock, it grew, but it racked much, it, it, it dried up. And the seed that fell on the good soil, and it grew and produced a hundredfold. Now, the seed that fell on the good soil can be compared to a Christian that hears the word of God and puts it into practice and tries to to see how the word of God can help you to know more about God. If you read the Bible in the book of Psalms chapter number 1, we are, we are taught about a godly person. If you want to grow in the, in the spiritual things of God, be the Psalms chapter number 1 person. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Avoid the counsel of the ungodly. Nor studeth in the way of sinners. 
nor seated in the seat of scornful, but is in right is in the law of the Lord. And in his law he does meditate day and night, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, and that bringeth forth his fruit in a season. His leaf shall not wither, or to whatsoever he doth he shall prosper. The Psalms chapter number one person. The person that wants to please God. And through pleasing God, whatever he does shall prosper. Shall be like a tree planted by the riverside. That is evergreen. When other trees are experiencing dry season, the tree that is planted by the riverside, it's continuously green. Deuteronomy chapter number 8 verse number 3. Man does not live by blood only, but by every word that proceeded out of the ma out of the mouth of God. The word will live by the power of the word. Christian journey of growth requires you to focus more on the word of God. Reflect more on the word of God. Read it, meditate upon it day and night. 2 Samuel chapter number 22 verse number 33 God is my strength and power He maketh my way perfect John chapter number 17 verse number 23 I in them thou in me that they may be made perfect in one and that the world may know that thou hast sent me and hast loved me and as they as they are loved me Jesus is making a prayer in John chapter number 17 and he is saying I am praying for them to be perfect in one because the world did not know that you sent me but them because they have chosen to follow me they have known it I am praying for them to be strong I have some moments of claiming that prayer of Jesus to strengthen your, your Christian journey in the name of Jesus Remember, Jesus is the bread of life. John chapter number 6, verse number 35. Viewer, as you continue to desire to grow more in the things of the Spirit, also purpose to fellowship with the Spirit of God. Fellowship with the Spirit of God enables us to grow as Christian believers. How do we fellowship with the Holy Spirit? Through, in, through involving Him in our prayer halter, through, through acknowledging His presence, through welcoming Him in our church services, in our prayer halters, in our prayer times, welcoming Him. Just open your mouth and say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you today. Guide me in my prayer altar. And then you continue with releasing your prayer items in the name of Jesus. Mentioning your prayer items in the name of Jesus. When you go to worship God in the church or personal worship, just acknowledge the Holy Spirit of God. Involve Him. He is always here with us. He just needs to be acknowledged. And remember, you can never be full of the Spirit of God. You need Him more every day. Every day you need more of Him. The Spirit of God reveals Jesus unto us more. Afresh each and every day. Pure, I would like to pray for you. Whenever you are watching today's broadcast. Maybe you are not born again. How do you like to give your life to Jesus? Repeat this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sins. I want to be saved. I want to be delivered today. In Jesus' name. Father, I pray for the viewer. Give him salvation. I pray for them that are watching this broadcast. Give them the Spirit of God to enable them to grow to another level in the things of the Spirit. I pray for hearing. I pray for deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Viewer, I would like to take this moment to welcome you for one-on-one -on -one hearing and deliverance prayer here in Kenya. Call the number on the screen or write to me through the email on the screen. Or you can even send your prayer item and I'll pray with you and the Lord is going to bless you. God bless you. Keep watching this broadcast and keep sharing this word to your family and to your friends in Jesus.